up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car track suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2022 toyota rav4 courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please refer to check out the link in the description box below believe it or not this one i am reviewing right now is actually available and that's crazy right now because literally everything is being pre-sold at least when it comes to toyota so that's pretty exciting also if you notice a slight change in the resolution i put out a poll on twitter and everybody says they prefer 60 frames per second over the 4k so this one is being shot in 60 frames per second but back to the review at hand this is toyota's most popular suv this quite possibly is the most reliable suv ever built and there are some new exterior and interior changes for the 2022 model year as well so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering fill ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2022 RAV4 first one being the LE which actually is the one we are in today starting at $26,525 XLE for $27,995 XLE premium for $30,885 Adventure for $32,780 TRD off-road for $36,465 and lastly the limited starting at $35,025 and so that was all pricing for the front wheel drive with the exception of the Adventure and the TRD off-road coming standard with all wheel drive but if you wanted to add all wheel drive to any of those other trim levels like we have today simply add fourteen hundred dollars then to any of those prices but so then i will say it does get simpler here regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant is going to be the same for all trims across the board powering the beast is a 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder putting out 203 horsepower at 6600 rpm 184 pound feet of torque coming in at 5000 rpm power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 8.4 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 27 in the city 35 on the highway for the front wheel drive 25 city 33 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive and quite honestly 33 for it not being a turbocharged or hybrid setup is actually pretty darn good on the highway i will say that but anyways taking regular unleaded fuel. But said that before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our RAV4, I wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes. They are all gonna be located directly to the left of the shifter. They're just simply six different buttons. They will include eco, normal, sport, snow mode, mud and sand and rock and dirt as well. Essentially adjusting things like the shift points, the throttle response and the steering sensitivity. But that is a heck of a lot of driving modes. I was expecting to see the eco, normal and sport, but wasn't expecting to see those off-road driving modes especially since we're in the le trim level as opposed to the trd off-road for example so that is pretty cool i like seeing that but anyways now that we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the rav4 here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get the new 2022 toyota rav4 here up to speed all right three two one off we go It's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty much as I expected it to be. It's not the quickest thing in the world, but you shouldn't have any issues emerging onto the highway either. It's it's pretty much as you would expect. Now, if they were to add a turbocharger, yes, it might be a little bit quicker, but then at the same time, you're gonna question the reliability a little bit. And personally, if you're buying the RAV4 and because of what Toyota is known for, I'm kind of happy that they didn't have the turbocharger because this thing is gonna be incredibly reliable. And I think that's what most people are probably gonna be buying the RAV4 for anyway. RAV4 for, that's funny. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration as always, braking is equally important so up front you will find 12 inch ventilated front discs in the back 11.1 inch ventilated rear discs as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes it's going to come in at 126 feet which it's a little bit on the high side quite honestly i typically look for sedans and suvs to come in at right around 120 feet or less be the best possible scenario but i will say the braking feel is a little bit on the softer side so toyota if you're watching this wouldn't mind it if you firmed up that braking feel just slightly that would definitely be at least to my personal preference but braking is it bad i will say that but then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get an independent mcpherson strut front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it's actually doing perfectly fine on these very smooth haggers down roads i will say that but i actually don't mind the ride quality it's actually really good it's pretty much as i expected the rav4 to ride like as far as road noise goes get a little bit of road noise but it's nothing that personally would annoy me again it's pretty much as expected there as far as steering feel goes i really really 
really like the steering feel. Honestly, I kind of expected it to feel a little bit more like most of the other SUVs that I test drive, so a little more emotionless, but this one is kind of the opposite. The steering feel is a little bit more on the heavier side of things, not too heavy, but it's honestly excellent. It's just what I would want the RAV4 to be like. So steering feel is 100% on point in the RAV4. That touching of visibility, it's a perfectly shaped SUV here. So definitely no issues there. And for forward visibility, there are rain sensing windshield wipers available on the XLE trim level and up if you wanted to go that route. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's still go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022. Toyota RAV4. All right, you guys, here she is, the new 2022 Toyota RAV4 finished in Ruby Flare Pearl, which, by the way, is a $425 paint option if you wanted to go that route. But I think it looks pretty dang good, and it kind of changes color when the sun hits it as well, which is pretty cool. But anyways, newly redesigned, sharper-angled LED headlights for 2022 for all trim levels, but the LE that we have today. So I can't even show it to you guys, but that is one of the big changes for the 2022 RAV4 for all of the trim levels. But the one you're looking at right now will have slightly more angular, more sharper designed headlights up front. So that's pretty cool. But anyways, multi-reflector LED headlights coming with the LE that we have today. So even our bottom trim level gets LEDs. I absolutely love that with black bezels as well. LED projector headlights coming with the XLE trim level and up, and that's gonna be with uh, chrome bezels or chrome background there. Automatic feature coming with those headlights, meaning when it starts to get dark and at night, the headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Automatic high beams also coming with all trim levels across the board. A lot of times you have to go with upper trim levels for other manufacturers for those automatic high beams. Essentially what they are is when you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams and when that vehicle is gone it's going to automatically bump it then back up to high beams so definitely a safety and convenience feature right there and full led projector headlights then coming with the limited trim level but just down below led fog lights are going to come with the xle premium trim level and up and again another feature i can't unfortunately show you guys here today black hexagon pattern front grille for the le xle and xle premium we'll get a unique split bar upper front grille for the adventure and trd off-road so slightly different styling for those off-road trim levels and a dark gray metallic hexagon front grille then for the limited but that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the RAV4. And so but now since we are around to the side of this one black roof rails coming with the XLE trim level and up floating roof line you guys can see that on the C pillar there it definitely looks pretty good rear privacy glass coming for all trim levels as well body color power adjustable side mirrors with the folding feature coming with the LE then the XLE trim level is going to add to that heated side mirrors with blind spot warning indicators and integrated turn signals then as well then if you were to go with the trd off-road you're going to get gloss black side mirrors for the more sportier trim level look i guess you could say puddle lights then coming with the limited so that's a luxury feature there and taking a look down at the wheel setup 17 inch steel wheels with covers for our le trim level that we have here 17 inch five spoke metallic gray alloys for the xle 19 inch chrome alloys for the xle premium and limited 19 inch five spoke matte gray alloys for the adventure and then 18 inch six spoke matte black alloys for the TRD off road. But pretty much rounds out the side profile here. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of the RAV4, body colored shark fin antenna all the way to the top. Just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light. Just below that rear window wiper, LED tail lights coming standard across the board. Gotta love that as well. I gotta love safety being standard on all trim levels. You are gonna find that trim level badging on the right hand side of that rear tailgate there along with if the RAV4 you're looking at is equipped with all wheel drive. So you get some all wheel drive badging there as as well and just below it all you guys can see this i actually like this look dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips coming standard for every single trim level across the board so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So, but then when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is going to be a power tailgate for the XLE Premium trim level and up. 
Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 37.6 cubic feet behind that second row. So actually a decent amount of space there for how big that RAV4 is. With that second row folded down, that's going to bump that up to 69.8 cubic feet. Definitely very nice there as well. There is a 60-40 split, by the way, for those rear seats. Cargo cover is going to come with the XLE trim leveling up. It's going to be optional, though, for our LE. We actually do have that. I like the cargo cover back there. Cargo lighting coming standard across the board. And it's LED cargo lighting, by the way. You usually don't find that in the cargo area. It's usually halogens for other manufacturers. So love that. 12-volt power outlet available for the XLE trim leveling up. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor you actually find a spare tire under there as opposed to the fix a flat which i personally prefer i love the spare tire it's so much easier i guess i'm used to it but anyways then making our way to the rear legroom coming in at 37.8 inches so for reference i'm at even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there rear usb charging ports for the xle trim level and up only so we don't have that but we do have a 12 volt power outlet that is going to come on our le trim level that we have with us here today rear ventilation coming standard for all trim levels across the board as well you guys are looking at that right now there is a rear center armrest with cup holders also for all trim levels across the board and if you wanted heated rear seats to spoil those rear passengers a little bit that is going to be optional for the limited trim level only so i do want to make you aware of that as well but now let's go ahead and make our way up to the front seats manually adjustable cloth seating coming with our le trim level power adjustable driver seat with power lumbar for the xle soft text upholstery for the xle premium orange accents and stitching for the adventure trim level trd stitching in the headrest coming with the trd off-road and then the limited trim is going to add to that heated front seats and an eight-way power adjustable passenger seat then as well and so overall when it comes to seat comfort i will say seat comfort is pretty darn good especially for it being the manually adjustable cloth seats the only kind of room for improvement i have with our le seat comfort is the headrests are like a rock but the rest of the seating is actually pretty darn good for what it is so i will say that but then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is wrapped in urethane for the le and xle trim levels but then leather wrapped for the xle premium trim level and up and then heated is going to be optional on the xle trim level and up if you wanted to go that route but then making our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your toyota logo on the one side then when you flip it over lock and unlock but it is all keyless entry with a push button start if you were to go with the xle trim level and up otherwise you have what we have so in this case i'm just going to put my foot on the brake and simply turn the key. And so once started up, tachometers all the way to your left, speedometer on your right, there's a small digital display front and center, a 4.2 inch digital display to be specific, coming with the LE, XLE, and XLE premium. But all of the trim levels above that actually get a seven inch digital screen in the middle. So slightly bigger setup there. But I will say there are plenty of steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel, giving you things like outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's a digital speedometer, of course, trip a trip b also when you need your next oil change it really does have everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges even in our smaller 4.2 inch display screen that we have with us here today to make our way to overall interior quality there is a power mooner for the xle premium trim level and up overhead sunglass holder for all trim levels led interior lighting for all trim levels as well home light controls are going to be optional they do not come standard unfortunately but i do like that they are available dual zone climate control coming with the xle trim level and up wireless phone charger also going to be optional but i will say the rav4 in my mind has kind of always been a more of a rugged type of suv and that's certainly the case with all the rubberized storage that you can find in this thing take for example just above the passenger side glove box you do have some kind of diamond patterned storage right there also just in front of the shifter you got more of that storage there there is a usb charging port there a 12 volt power outlet as well you have an electromechanical parking brake just to the left of the shifter and behind the shifter you have some dual cup holders within the center armrest dc amount of space and there's actually two more phone charging ports within that center armrest then as well so overall the interior quality it gets the job done it's nothing special there's a lot of black plastic but like i said it's certainly going to get the job done but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen seven inch color touch screen display with the le xle xle premium and adventure trim level so quite a bit of them there and that's what you guys are looking at of course but there's a nine inch color touch screen display coming with the trd off-road and limited trim levels either way you still get bluetooth and audio streaming you still get android auto apple carplay 
Factory navigation system is not standard on any of the trim levels, but it is optional if you wanted to go that route. Although, as long as you have a smartphone, you really don't need it with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay anyways. There's also some different driving statistics you could check out up there as well. In addition to that, your radio settings, of course. And so, when it comes to the sound systems on the RAV4, you will find six speakers for the LE, XLE, XLE Premium, Adventure, and TRD Off-Road. Then if you were to go with the Limited, you will get an 11-speaker JBL sound system. So having said that, we do have the six speaker sound system, of course, with us here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. Okay, so actually a decent amount of bass. It kind of surprised me there. More bass than I expected for sure for a six speaker sound system. So maybe to add a little bit extra because of the size of the RAV4 being a little bit bigger, but that actually wasn't a bad six speaker sound system. I've certainly heard worse when it comes to six speaker sound systems. I'll put it that way. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the RAV4 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the 2022 RAV4 is an IIHS top safety pick, which definitely is a very good thing right there. Front side side carrying airbags do come standard, driver's knee airbag as well. In addition to that, a front passenger seat cushion airbag. Usually don't find that on other manufacturers out there. I know that's a Toyota thing, so that's pretty cool. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard across the board will be Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. This is going to include a pre-collision system with pedestrian pedestrian detection, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, automatic high beams, dynamic radar cruise control, road sign assist then as well. And then the XLE trim level is going to add to that a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. And so when it comes to my final thoughts, I do like the headlight refresh, although we don't have it with us here today. I've seen it on Toyota lots and it definitely looks pretty darn good. Standard safety is pretty darn great as well. And so I put in the title of this video, buy now or wait for the 2023 Toyota to RAV4 because the 2023 RAV4 is going to have Toyota Safety Sense 2.5. So it's going to add some advanced safety to that 2023 model. It's also going to give you a uh, option for a bigger infotainment screen. You're going to have an option for a 12.3 inch full digital gauge cluster on the upper trim levels as well. So let me know what you guys think just based on those few different features that are coming to the 2023. Do you want to buy this one now or do you wait for the 2023 with those updates there? Either way, you're still getting the stellar reliability that Toyota, of course, is known for. And quite honestly, even for this being the bottom trim level, the LE, I honestly wouldn't mind this at all. This has been perfectly fine in my short test drive here today. But anyways, like I said, let me know what you guys think of the new 2022 RAV4 in the comments section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in the new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold